We have seen in the previous video about the dependency injection techniques, about the constructor injection, the method injections, and the field injections. And we have written some codes that glorified how to make these dependency injections. Now, the question is, what is the best type and how to use it and when to use it? Always use constructor injection unless no service instance when the client is instantiated. For example, runtime. The second way or the second situation you don't use constructor injection is you don't instantiate the clients. Example, the activity. And the third type is, or the third way is framework imposed limitations on constructor. Example, fragment. Don't worry. If you don't understand, we are going to take every specific case and we'll see how it works and deal it deal with dependency injection in the um, in later videos. So, always use constructor injection. Always use constructor injection unless there is a special limitation. Let's move to another large scale scale structure the bad coding is making this we have learned that making and instantiating a new class or a new object of the class or a service inside a new uh, inside the class it's very bad coding so we have learned the dependency injection and the constructor injection way we will need to inject the service B inside the constructor of the class A. This is the good coding and this is dependency injection and the constructor way. So if this is very simple, why people make uh, it uh, difficult and complex? Despite you are listening to me and I have clarified everything, it's still complex because if you have I will ask you many questions, four questions, and I need you to uh, think about them. If this is the way and this is the simplicity of dependency injection. So, and the act of injecting services into clients from outside. This is what we have learned. The question number one, if I need to create a list, a list of uh, data or any class and I need to make a list of this object should I instantiate and this does this coding violates the dependency injection principles like instantiating them into inside the constructor think about it the question is no we are not violating the dependency injection because uh, if I need to pass the list uh, to the constructor of the class A, as we have injected it before, it is a bad concept and it, it, is, uh, it is a bad act because uh, some aspect of dependency injection will be followed in this case. And there is a contradiction in the bad design. So don't worry. We will learn how to solve these in the next course, uh, courses and next videos. And the question number two, think about if I have a class called some client and I have two services and inside the constructor, I have injected a service locator. This service locator object, I have used it the first time with some service one and second time with some service too. And we are getting them from, uh, from outside. The question is, the constructor argument is passed as service locator, but how it will determine which service will be used? Again, I will, co I will told you that these questions will be clarified in a very, uh, very simple application that I will be using throughout the course. 
The question number three. Why dependency injection framework exists? Frameworks exist and why are they so complex? If dependency injection is the act of injecting uh, services to the client from outside. So why so it is uh, so complex? And why we need to make depend uh, why we need to use dependency injection frameworks and why they are existing. The question number four, if all clients get services from outside, where are all these services being instantiated? This is the most important question. And it is uh, related to the context of the, the services and the client, clients and the dependency injection user. So imagine multiple clients receive services and services must be constructed somewhere. This comes the large scale st structure and here the dependency injection it is used and why dependency injected injection has been created. We will answer these questions through the coming videos. We spent hours in making difficult concepts as simple as possible. So give us one second from your time to help us making new tutorials. Rate us five stars on Udemy, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and download Master Coding application. Thank you guys. See you in next videos.